to ask you about when you, you do all that stuff and you get to WrestleMania and you know that <clears throat> you know you can't be Brett the Hitman Hart of old technically and all that kind of stuff. But when you go out and you do it and you get to beat the shit out of Vince McMahon for 18 minutes, um, when that was over, was there like, what, what did it feel like? Were you happy that you did it? Were you happy that you got to go out there in front of a stadium and be Bret Hart again? Yeah, I, I, I think that was what it was all about. I think I was, <clears throat> I think I was searching for something, you know, peace. I, I think I was searching for a sort of peace and, and sort of a new path. Like um, <clears throat> I can only describe it as like always. Like like I said earlier, it's like I was so tired of carrying around this big bag of rocks all the time. I just wanted to drop it, and um, <clears throat> so I was, um, I wanted this um, sort of move in a better direction and uh, um, see if I could um, bring back some of that. I think most importantly, I think, um, I think the highlight, when I think of um, wrestling Vince McMahon in, um, in Arizona at the big football stadium, I think for me it was... Um, like when I was in my wheelchair. Oh, <clears throat> I think when I was in my wheelchair, I knew how impossible it was for me to, to walk out to the ring anymore. And I remember um, <clears throat> when I was um, on that ramp and walking down with all the lights in the stadium and the crowd. And That's all, I think it's all part of my stroke. This, this stroke makes you really emotional all the time, so I apologize for that. I have to recover for a couple of seconds, but, but anyway, walking through the, down the ramp and to the ring and all that was so important to me. And I remember thinking, I, I never thought I'd ever do this. So I, I think it was a victory for me. It was all for me. I did that for myself. And I think it was good. Like, I think, <clears throat> I know the match I had with uh, Vince was not the, uh, wasn't D Wembley Stadium with Bulldog or the Iron Man match or anything. But all said, it was still a lot of fun. I'm so glad that, they, like, I remember thinking, because I had this huge lawsuit pending over my head, which, believe it or not, I still have. There's still an open file with Lloyd's of London suing me that's never progressed afterwards because I don't think they have any kind of a case. They, um, there was no full contact wrestling that they could ever pin on me. But they, um, it was weighing on me heavy at the time. I remember going into WrestleMania thinking, what are we going to do? Like, I can't do anything. All I can do is move forward and punch Vince. <laughs> There's not much else. I can't do a drop kick. I can't suplex anybody. I can't um, fall backwards and hit my head or any kind of falling motion would be a, um, a, um, break my contract with them sort of thing or put me in jeopardy anyway. So I remember thinking, what the hell are we going to do in this match? It's going to be like a stinkeroo match. Like, you know, so I was kind of worried about it, but I, I have so much. Um, I'm so happy with the storyline Vince came up with. It was actually like the stuff where they broke my leg was a way to get, you know, to, to tell a story and 
having all my brothers and sisters as lumberjacks. I don't know where they came up with that. I think <laughs> Vin, Vince must have been smoking a big doobie when he came up with that. Because <laughs> he had uh, my, some of my sisters, are like one's a librarian. And, and I remember this, like, they, they all came down for the Hall of Fame. They didn't show up. They, no one told them any of this stuff or me. I remember, like, the day before uh, the big match, uh, we have a meeting with Vince in his, in, his, in, his, in the, at the building, in, or I think it was at the hotel on the top floor or something like that. We met Vince. Vince rented a whole floor, and had a wrestling ring up on the top floor of the hotel set up for the wrestlers to practice their matches, including me. And um, he summoned all my family to come to the after. It was right after the Hall of Fame. Um, uh, award thing. Well, I think that was on a Saturday night. And then uh, he asked, requested all of every one of my family to come meet him after in the uh, top of this uh, hotel and uh, go over the match. And suddenly they're going, what match? Like, we're not, you know, they're and it's like, yeah, you're the Lumberjacks. And it's like, so, you know, it was kind of funny. I remember there was so much, you come from a family of tw 12 kids with, that are all grew up in the wrestling business. Everybody's got a say. Even my sisters have a say. It was like a, I remember I looked at Vince one time like, now you know what I've been going through all my life. <laughs> but they're all arguing about who's going to do this and who's going to do what, and I'm not doing this, and I'm not going to, you know, they were all, and they were all really uptight. Most of them, a lot of them were still really mad about Owen. Um, um, they were mad about, Martha had told anyone that if anyone even walked out at, at, um, in Arizona, that she would never talk to them again. And uh, I had one brother that didn't go out. He just refused to go out on account of that. And uh, there was, uh, I remember going, I, want to show, I wanted to show the world in a way that we were all a tighter family uh, through all the trouble we've been through, that we were united kind of all together. And, um, you know, that was important to me. And, it's funny when I look back on it because I remember um, Vince had told me earlier, like, he, my brother Bruce it was always kind of a stiff wrestler. Stiff me, me he potatoed everybody he worked with. <laughs> and I remember Vince said, he goes, whatever happens in this match, I don't want your brother Bruce laying a finger on me. <laughs> so we're going to make Bruce the referee. Which to me made sense because Bruce has a habit of writing himself in like a bigger part in the movie than he's supposed to get. You know, you're only supposed to hit Steve Austin once, but Bruce cleaned house on Hawk, Shamrock, Animal. Like, yeah, Bruce couldn't, couldn't stop uh, taking a bigger piece of the pie than he was supposed to. So I was like, okay, that'll stop Bruce from, Bruce is just the referee. And then I remember one of my sisters getting really upset because my brother Wayne was always the stampede wrestling referee. And it's like, Wayne's got to be the referee and not Bruce. And she got really animated about it. And it's like, Allison, relax, just calm down. It's not, a, it's not that important that Wayne referees. No one even knows that he was a referee from stampede wrestling and Wayne's not worried about it. But anyway, so there was a lot of arguing and bickering and everyone got pretty intense. And uh, I just remember looking at Vince and it's like, now you know. <laughs> uh, this is what I go through all the time. And I remember telling Vince, I said, you know what, if you tell them what you want them to do, they'll do it. But if you, if you ask me to tell them, like for me to tell them all what Vince wants you to do, they won't do anything I tell you. Like, they won't listen to me, They'd, but they'll listen to Vince. And, um, you know, when Vince laid out the whole thing about um, the match, I remember it was all set up. Where actually, I didn't have to fall down or do anything. And I remember going, it's perfect for me. It's a perfect storyline that Vince wrote out for me or gave me basically to do that involved no physical contact and didn't involve me falling in any way. And it, I thought it protected me in case I lost, like where I went to court with Lloyds of London. And so skipping ahead to the next day at WrestleMania, all my family, some of them are, I think were just stressed out because they've never, a lot of them, like my sisters have never been on TV. They've certainly never been lumberjacks and everything. <laughs> in a wrestling match and uh, I kept trying to get them to, to calm down and just li listen to what they need to do. And uh, I remember Vince, before we walked out in the match, um, 
which I didn't know prior to that. I mean, Vince was, you know, we, we, we didn't really have any kind of rehearsal. We kind of talked about stuff I could do. And funny enough, a lot of the things I wanted to do, were, we weren't allowed to do anymore. Like I wanted to take the, like this kind of cord, these kind of cords and stuff like that they have all around the ring. I wanted to strangle Vince with one of those because I could, I could pretend to strangle him with those. But he, I guess because of the Benoit thing, they were really touchy and still are about any kind of strangling kind of thing on TV. So they, Vince goes, they can't do any of that. Everything had to be no contact. It's like, okay, so how I can, I can, I was trying to think of things I could do with Vince. And I remember he told me just before I walked through the curtain, he showed me, he pulled up his shirt and he's got this big rubber pad on his back. It was like a stuntman pad that was shaped like to give him like a really muscular back. And it made, it looked great. When he put his suit on, Vince looked pretty, pretty buff in this uh, padded, uh, and he told me, he was just before he walks up, he goes, lay it in. Don't hold back. You hit me with that chair absolutely as hard as you can. I said, are you sure? And he goes, I'm sure. And I said, all right. And so, my, of course, my brother was already in the ring or already out in the crowd or getting ready for his part. And that whole storyline played out. He didn't know anything about a rubber pad. So I mean, remember my brother Bruce almost getting hysterical in the ring that he was, thought I was going to kill Vince. And <laughs> I was smashing Vince over and over with that chair till it hurt my hands. I was hitting him so hard. And, uh, you know, I remember Bruce kept backing me up and going, like, he's one to talk. He's going, lighten up. You know? <laughs> Take it easy on Vince. I think you're getting a little stiff. And I'm thinking, and I just kept staying in character. Like, step aside, Bruce. <laughs> Wham, you know, again. <laughs> but it was, um, it was really fun for me to, to beat Vince with that chair and this beat him as hard as I did. And I think I probably potatoed him a couple of times. But, but uh, in, in a lot of ways, I, I looked at all of that as a big victory for me. And it was, I was really grateful that, that, that I had that chance and I had a chance to walk down to the ring one last time. <laughs>